Well, hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today I wanted to talk all things Etsy. I do have some major changes that are become, that are going to be coming to my Etsy shop and I have no structure as to exactly how I wanted to present this information to you, but I thought we'd go ahead and work on some of the last Etsy orders that I have in my queue, packaging those up and saying thank you to those who actually purchased. And then we'll talk more about exactly how I see my Etsy shop moving forward from this point. We'll also get into all the reasons why I'm making the changes and how I ultimately appreciate all of you for being so patient with me and allowing me some time to prioritize myself because that is the root of any changes that I'm making. Um, but I do have some exciting information to share. So first things first, why don't we head up to the Etsy shop and I'll actually sit down and package up some orders that are remaining in my queue. Let's go. All right, so to get started, I wanted to first package up some orders. These are a lot of the individual pieces. I was up here earlier making a lot of the orders and packaging them together so I can have them ready to go. I have seven orders, I believe, no, eight orders all together to package. So I wanna get those started first. Um, let me go ahead and start from the top. Let me go ahead and start from the top and go down. The first person I want to thank is Gail. She purchased um, some vellum scratch off challenges, which I have here. I do need to hole punch her challenges. And the thing about Gail is her order was due to be shipped two days ago. And the reason why I did not ship them was because I couldn't stand to sit up here um, in this chair and process these orders. And even today, I'm looking to see what she ordered. She ordered a um, five no 5100 blue vellum scratch off a pearl white 2050 scratch off and then a green 530 scratch off and I need to hole punch these so I'm going to do that but um, the reason why I couldn't come up here was because I was having intensive sciatic pain and um, there was just no way that I was going to be able to sit in these chairs and make these orders and that's the first reason why I'm changing some things about my shop I feel like um, as orders trickle in one by one, it's really difficult to come up on a regular basis and package orders for people. Even though I'm super, hold on. Even though I'm super appreciative of everything that everybody has done for me. Like there's no way that I could have had such a successful launch there's no way that I could have had such a successful Etsy shop this far without all of you. I know that, you know, it's you guys that are primarily driving my sales. It's not Etsy's referrals. It's specifically all the love that you guys have shown to all the products that I've ever created. This one's going to be for Gail. Thank you so much, Gail, for purchasing for me and for being patient. Oh, wait a minute. I did tell Gail since she was waiting so long for her product that I would also include a freebie. Almost forgot you guys. See how my brain is scattered? She asked, I asked her, did she want a large scratch off card? What denomination? She said 2000. So I'm gonna give her a $2,000 scratch off card and this is gonna be her order completed. Now let me go ahead and package this up. So that's her order and we're going to go ahead and bag it up. Etsy in general has been such a huge blessing for me. There's been months when I've made thousands of dollars on Etsy and it's all because of you guys. So I really, truly, truly appreciate it. I'll put her label on later, but this is a package for Gail. Next up, I wanna package Selena's order and I do need to make some bookmarks for her. She wanted, whenever I make bookmarks, I like to go ahead and cut a full page of them, even though um, I might only be making one or two for someone. And I have quite a bit of already pre-cut ones, but she wanted a cat and the multicolored flower. She also ordered a vellum scratch off. in blue and she does not want hers hole punched 
And then she ordered a Thanksgiving bookmark as well as an envelope that says bookmark challenge. So these things are hers. And then these two bookmarks we have to put together for her as well. So the whole thing about Etsy is, um, wait a minute, hold on. I do have some other bookmarks here that just need to be put together when people order. So when I cut the full page, I just end up putting the extras over there until someone orders those. Um, but yeah, back to Etsy. I was thinking of going more to a launch model. I mentioned that before and in the launch model, what would happen is basically all month long, I would be showing you the things that I'm preparing for a launch. And the launch will probably be towards the end of the month. So this month, it would be a mini launch because we're already almost at the end of the month, right? We only have a few more days. It would be like in another 10 days that I would reopen and sell some products. The changes come in that I only foresee myself opening the shop for about three days at a time. And during those three days, whatever you buy, that's what you get. And then after the three days, I'm going to shut it down so that I'm not continuously getting orders and then uh, process those orders and get those orders out. And then at the end of the following month, I would open again with new products. The good part is throughout the month, I could make some Etsy shop vlogs showing you exactly what it is that I'm going to be creating and having as a part of the launch. Um, you would have back information, like information specifically about how many of each item that I have. And the items would be ready to ship immediately because I would have already pre-made them as I'm working through the Etsy shop vlogs. The problem with this type of model is I might pre-make items that more than what I need, or I might not make enough of something that you know, people actually have a high demand on. And if that's the case, and I realize that, then I would just have to wait until the next month in order to do it all over again. All right, so for Kathy, she ordered a multicolored flower, a cat with bookmark, a thankful challenge with Christmas on the back, a vellum scratch off in blue 20 and 50 and an add an envelope for the bookmark challenge so all of this will be going out to kathy thank you so much kathy for your order my uh oh this is not gonna fit my guy is going to be taking all of the orders to the post office this evening um driving has been such a problem for me which is yet another reason why I need to kind of have a schedule as to when I'm gonna be sending packages out and not just every day headed to the post office to make orders. I'm gonna label all of these at the end. Next up is Lakeisha, and she ordered some A7 envelopes, um, and I pre-made all of these this morning. She has gas, shopping, groceries, miscellaneous, household, dining out, medical, gifts, and giving. Thank you so much, Lakeisha, for your order as well. I'm thinking of bringing a video maybe at least once a week or once every other week that'll show you some of the products that I plan on that I'm creating. I came up with a really fun idea to have 50 bundles um, of products that I already have in order to make room for more new products. And that would be things like the large scratch off card, um, bookmarks that I've already made, um, some binders that I have this or that challenge, individual cards, um, things like that, that I would be bundling up as a bundle and selling those for a discounted price. This one is Lakeisha. Thank you, Lakeisha, for your order. 
those bundles you would see me pack up on camera so you would kind of already know what's going to be in the bundle and you can decide if that's something you want i think i will be including some new bookmark challenges in the bundle as well the next order is for jose and he asked for three bookmark challenges as well as an envelope so this is his order The thing about Etsy is I have loved being creative and I don't know if you guys have realized but I've started just giving away things that I'm creating instead of selling because it's not always about making the profit. I like building the community part as well. Um, I do have the new challenge ready to go and I'm going to be linking it in this video. I hope that you're able to download the free group play challenge that I'm going to include because in my next video, I'll be doing a cash stuffing with some money and I want you to have your challenge already ready. But we'll talk about that in just a minute. Let's finish up these last few orders. This one is Jose. Thank you, Jose, for your order. Next up is Ro from Ro's Budget. Um, she ordered one chasing rainbows box as well as an envelope that says tesla on it and so i'm going to be packaging that for her Sitting for more than 10 minutes has been such a problem for me. Luckily, right now, I just took some meds, and so I'm able to come up here for the second time. I did come up and make the products this morning, um, which was sitting for quite some time, and then I had to take a break. Reasons why I want to limit how I take orders from the shop is because every day to come up for some hours on my day off is just not feasible, you know? And I have to take care of my health. And I realize that. I love creating products. I was working, hold on. All right, this one's for Ro. All right, right here. I was working on creating the freebie for all of us today as well. And I remembered how much I actually like creating products um, and doing fun challenges and making them, you know? So I don't see myself letting go of Etsy 100%, but it is time for me to close it for a while. I thought about not reopening until Black Friday, but um, I'm gonna do those grab bags, I think before then. This order is for Shanice, and she ordered three of the this or that cards individually, number three, four, and five. Thank you, Shanice, for your order. If you guys hear bubble wrap, those peanuts, Gingy wants to eat those, okay? That's her problem, or live in them, something. I don't know what she wants exactly, but thank you, Shanice. Um, but if you hear noise in the background, it's because she's trying to get involved. Next up, I have an order for Joy. She ordered two of these teller slips, um, the pink ones. Thank you, Joy. Uh-oh, wait a minute, hold on. Thank you, Joy, for your order. I appreciate you. I do still have a few teller slips left. That might be something that I would put in the grab bag as well. Also, I am developing a couple of new products to hit the grab bag also. The last order I need to process is for Jean. Jean ordered one this or that savings card, a number four. Let 
Oh, no, not J. G-E-N-E. -E. <laughs> Jean. Um, and so that is the last order. Okay, now that I package up those orders, let's just have a chit chat. If you guys hear some noise, there's a bubble wrap piece of paper on the ground and it's Gingy's turn to play with it. Pepper's not here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so coming up to the Etsy shop every day or every other day to process orders and get orders out timely is starting to take a toll on my back and on my sciatic pain. And so I thought I love recording videos for you guys and coming up for a 30 minute burst is nothing. But if I'm coming up to create a seven envelopes and challenge boxes and bookmarks and, you know, cut things on the cricket, I can sometimes be up here for four to five hours at a time. And it's just too much on me right now to sit for that whole period of time. So I have to prioritize myself, you know, and I know you guys would encourage that. But the way that I love to create products and sell products still exists. I love to do it. And so I was thinking about getting myself a standing desk and I'm thinking about partnering up with a company to see if I can do that. But until that happens, I thought I would move over to launch mode. A launch mode is basically going to be where throughout the month, I'll bring videos showing you guys some of the products that I'm ordering, some of the products that I'm creating. I can create those products from my nice, soft, comfy couch, you know? <laughs> so some of the products that I'm creating as they're delivered, I'll show you guys what will be included in the next launch. So in addition to those items that I'll be creating, I also would be maybe creating some bundles and having sales on those products as a bundle together and I'll show myself in an Etsy video packaging up those bundles. So you'll already know what's there. They would be packaged and ready to go. So when I actually hit the launch, all I would need to do is print the labels and slap them onto the packages and ship. The same thing goes with the boxes. If I'm already creating a box or two here and there and I get to 12 boxes or 100 boxes or however many I get to by the end of the month, then I would literally just be able to put a, a label on it and ship it. Some of the custom products, I probably will need to limit those. And that's not to say I won't offer custom envelopes or custom challenges, but I will have to limit those down to a small amount so that I'm not up here creating, you know, 17 orders worth of custom A7 envelopes. I don't have the capacity physically to sit up here and do that any longer. And as my body heals, because I think a lot of this kind of started transpiring as I stopped moving and... um I used to be really into working out and taking care of myself and, you know, eating healthy and doing all these things before I lost, before I quit my nursing job. But once I quit my nursing job, I think I felt like I just needed to take a break. And so I stopped all the working out. One thing the physical therapy therapist told me the other day was you have to condition your body so you're ready to do the work that you need to do for whatever reason at a specific time. And she was saying maybe all the climbing of the stairs in Japan, all the walking and hikes in Seattle, that actually became really strenuous on my body because I wasn't already previously conditioned and ready for it. And that means I have to do strength training probably like three times a week from here moving forward. And I'm okay with that. I'm probably still going to go to my swim classes and keep up with my physical therapy as long as possible. And so those things, which are all about bettering my health, are taking the forward seat. And anything for Etsy, I'm going to put to the back for right now. It still rings true, though, that I love to create products. And so I'll be creating some freebies where you guys can download. Where I don't necessarily have to ship it to you, but um, a lot more freebies to be coming because as I love to create products, some will be prepared and ready for the launch, but others I want to give to you. And that leads right into our next segment, which I created the freebie that I spoke about. And I want to show you guys how it turned out. I came up here this morning, worked on orders and created the freebie. So let's get that on camera so I can show you how it all works. And then you can digitally download it using the link down below and print it for yourself. So you'll be all set for my next cash stuffing because I want this to be a group play where we actually save together. I made slight changes to the colors. You'll, I'll, I'll explain when I show you, but I think it's gonna save a little bit over $120 and I tried to keep it kind of low so it doesn't have to be the only challenge that you're working on. You can work on this and other things at the same time. All right, let's get off into the newest savings challenge. All right, this is it. This is the newest savings challenge and it's called Pixel Color by Numbers and Save, okay? So basically within all of the pixel laid it picture, which you might be able to decipher what it is, but you won't see how cute it is until it's finished. Um, <laughs> there's dollar amounts in here. So I have some dollar amounts that are one quarter, that's 25 cents. Some that are 50 cents, 
some that are a dollar, some that are uh, $2, and some that are $5. The highest amount we would save would be $5 on one particular pixel. However, I think I'm gonna do about $10 to $20 per video saving on this challenge so we can get it done in about five or, you know, five or six videos worth. If you wanna take your time and go slower, feel free, but you will probably already see the whole pixelated picture by the time you get done. So what you do is basically decide what dollar amount you wanna save. And let's say we wanna save $10. We can add up the ones if we wanna do $1 each, 10 little squares and the squares for $1 need to be colored blue. The 25 cents black, 50 cents red, $2 yellow and $5 pink. And we get done, we'll have a picture that we can share together. Um, and I know I changed some of the color dollar amounts, so I know I tried to add it up, and I think it adds up to about $125. Um, and with that being said, if we do about 20, 10 to $20 per video, it might take me about, I don't know, six to 10 videos in order to get it complete, and I feel okay about that. I hope you're okay too. All right, so that's it for the challenge. This will be available for digital download down in the description. I also made one without the confetti on the outside and the color behind the letters. It's strictly black and white. And that's because I want people that don't have a colored printer to be able to print as well and play along. And it will be listed down in my description indefinitely. I think Chandra asked me last night on a premiere if she had time to purchase something. It might've been her or someone else. I can't remember, but... um. I'm going to put the vacation message out there now, and then I will be bringing another Etsy shop vlog throughout this month, at least one more to explain what products I already have made that are ready for shipment, and we're going to reopen the shop at the end of the month. I'll give the exact date in that Etsy shop vlog, so if you're interested in purchasing anything and you want to make sure that it's included in this next launch, please send me a message over on Etsy like, oh, I would love a savings challenge box or, oh, I would love a buzz around challenge, and I'll make sure to make a few of those. Um, but I don't want to overwhelm myself as I'm trying to prioritize my health and healing. So yeah, I will be making lots of products, but in limited quantity. And then for Black Friday, I'll try to beef it up even more. The other thing that I'm working on is still creating those three different types of binders for all different paydays to be pretty similar and cohesive amongst weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly. So we all have the same quarterly savings challenges, the same two calendar spread pages, and some of the same budgeting pages so that we can all work together on the same projects as we go. Etsy has truly changed my life, you guys. <laughs> I did not realize how creative I am. Like I had no interest in creating products when I first got started with YouTube. Um, and then I saw people making envelopes and I started with that. And over time, I have loved doing the arts and crafts sides. It's really like activated within me, the creative parts of me. Like I can never draw. So I thought I just wasn't a creative person, but I've always loved like singing and music and uh, theater. And so I knew I loved the arts, but I feel like Etsy gives me the platform in order to actually develop products and sell them and you know, trial products with you guys. And so I'd never want to give up on Etsy. I just have to restructure the way that I'm doing it so that I'm not giving up on myself either. And yeah, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of different video getting an Etsy update. If you go to my shop at this point, you probably will see the vacation message because I'll be putting it on as soon as I get done recording this video and expect to hear more from me in regards to Etsy throughout the month. And again, we will be launching at the end of the month with some new products as well as some bundles, but you'll see it along the way. If you made all the way to the end of this video, whether you're new to this or true to this, I appreciate you for being here. Please put this one single emoji right here letting me know that you made it. Also, don't forget to like this video and share it with someone else so they can see that it's okay sometimes to prioritize yourself over money-making hustles. And there is a way that they all can blend together. You just have to think it through. All right, I think that's everything for today. And Gingy is making so much noise in the bubble wrap. I'm about to head out and I gotta get these packages to my guy so he can take them to the post office. Thank you guys again everyone for all of your support over the years. I know each and every one of you have bought from my shop several times. I love and appreciate you for it. All right, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Don't forget, download the challenge so we can do it all together. I'm so excited. Take care. As soon as I went to go close down the Etsy shop and put the vacation mode, I realized I had one last order 
and it's for Roliner, and it was a set of bookmark challenges, one bookmark envelope, and then three of the vellum scratch-off challenges in green. And so I'm going to go ahead and package this last order. <laughs> I thought I was on the last one last time, you guys. Hold on one second. All right, this one snuck in there. But I put the vacation mode on now, for real, so there's that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rollinger, for your order. All the orders will be going out tonight, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.